In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create this box text animation inside of Adobe After Effects. So let's get into it. So we're inside of Adobe After Effects and we have a brand new composition created. Now we just need to start by creating a box. So we'll go layer, new, solid. We can set this to white or a color of your choice. Press OK and press OK. Now we're just going to turn on the proportional grid. So we're going to select this icon select proportional grid and then we're just going to pull this white solid down to one of these boxes so I'm just going to move this down to here and fill in this it doesn't have to be perfect because we are going to change this so that is our box now created so obviously we need to go ahead and animate this on so in order to do that I'm just going to select the box we'll go up to the rectangle tool up here or the rectangle mask tool and we'll just draw a box around that rectangle so like this. Then we'll go roughly half a second to the right, go into masks, mask one, mask path, create a new keyframe on mask path. Then we'll go to the beginning and we'll just move that mask over to the left. So when we play this back, it animates on. Now, of course, that isn't the fanciest animation in the world. So we're going to convert these keyframes to easy ease keyframes. And in order to do that, we're just going to select both of those right click over one of them keyframe assistant and easy ease now when we play this back that looks a little nicer although i would argue it is now too quick so i'm just going to pull that second keyframe over to the right to slow that down and that looks great now i'm just going to make a copy of this box so i'm going to go select that box we'll go command c command v that is mac if you're on windows i believe it is control c control v so just copy paste then we'll go into effects and presets, search for tint, drop that on the newly copied layer. So the one above, and we will map the white to a color of your choice. So let's go for a nice blue. Alternatively here, you could add a ramp effect or a four color gradient if you wanted to create a gradient rather than a solid. So all we have now is just a blue box animating on. We've completely lost the white box. So in order to reveal the white box, we just need to nudge the blue box over a few frames. So I've nudged that over three frames in my example, and that is how that looks. Looks great. If you wanted to delay that even more so you can see more of the white box before the blue comes in, then that's how that would look. Now, if you wanted to, you could actually pull the second keyframe on the blue box over to the right, just so it lingers a little bit more like that. But that's not the effect I'm going for. This is what we want here. And if you were to animate this out, all you would need to do is go towards the end. We would just go to the bottom solid, copy the last keyframe and then paste that. Then we would go to the top, copy the last keyframe again and paste. Then we would just copy those first keyframes, move over to the right towards the end and just paste those in. So it's just animating out now. Now, once we've got this far, we're going to nest this sequence and we're going to put this in its own layer. So we're going to select both of those layers. So both of those solids, right click, pre-compose, and we'll call this box. So the box is now in its own pre-comp, which is great. This means if we wanted to add another line, all we need to do is just copy and paste and we have another line. And if you wanted to change the size of that, then you could just increase the width, you can increase the height, it's completely up to you. So if you wanted two lines and you wanted them to be left aligned, you would just do this. But that's not the effect we're going for. We're just gonna go for a single line just to make things easy in this tutorial. So now that you've got this far, now we want to add our text in. So we're just gonna scroll into our video to the point we've got this blue box going to select the T icon, which is the horizontal type tool. And we'll select our blue video and we'll just type out our word or a phrase of choice. And of course, if you go to the character window on the right of After Effects, if you're not seeing that, then just go window and make sure character is ticked. But then you just want to change the font. You can change the weight. You can change the font size. Basically, just make this look exactly how you want this to look and then just place that in the center. But obviously now we need to animate this on. So we're going to go through to the point where the title appears, which is there. So you don't want the keyframe before because we're missing that last character. You want to go through to this point here. Then we're going to select the title layer, select the rectangle tool, and we're going to create a mask 
around the blue and then finishing just there. Then we go into the mask, we'll create a brand new keyframe on mask path. Then we're going to scroll back in time to the point where the first letter disappears. So that'll be here. And we are just going to move those two right points over to there. So when we play this back, you can see the text layer appears, which is great. That's doing exactly what we need it to do. And of course, same thing when we are animating out, you would find the point just before it disappears again. So that would be here. We'll copy that last keyframe, paste that in, and then we'll go through to the point where it just disappears. So that is there. We're going to copy that first keyframe, paste that in, and that will now animate out. But there you go. That is how you create this box text animation inside of Adobe After Effects. Thank you for watching.